you were kind of top of our list for first guest because mm. um, one thing I was interested to know about you was that you used to be cabin crew. That's right. That's right. I used to be what we call with my friends a trolley dolly back in the day. <laughs> so I was dishing out blue plastic trays at around 20,000 feet. So were you... Um, Domestic or international? Domestic, or? Okay. domestic. Yeah. So as far as Auckland and as low as Invercargill and in between. Yeah. So lots of travelling in between there and, and, and serving passengers and exploring our backyard. Yeah. And how long did you do that for? So I did it for nine and a half years. So I started in the late 90s and I went through to about 2008. Wow. Yeah. So is that, is that the first job that you had straight out of school or what was the timeline? Straight out of university, that was the first job I had. I worked at the airport for DFS Galleria. Yeah. So I worked in the departure lounge there and they used to have these airport parties and everyone who worked at the airport yeah. all came along, had a good time and I got into a conversation with one of the ladies and she said, have you ever thought of being cabin crew? Mm. I was like, Lord, no, not at all. <laughs> and she said, it's good money, good perks. And it was good money. And back then, it was good perks as well. So yeah. we would be on standby to go to Australia for $80 return. So we would just turn up to the airport and we would just um, ask for a seat. And then make sure you to... don't flick your mic off there, oh, Daniel. Sorry, oh, that's sorry, right. that's me. Still learning the radio <laughs> environment. Um, it was fantastic. Um, and we just worked with amazing people. And, and back in my day, there were teachers... Um, there were people from all walks of life who were cabin crew at yeah. the time. So it was a great experience. Because did you study broadcasting first or when did the, the move to broadcasting, how did that happen? I started flying and for the first two years you could only master the art in coffee and I felt like I'd done that after two <laughs> years. And I thought to myself, there's got to be something else out there. And not to put down my other colleagues because they love it. And there's that glamour behind working at the airport as as cabin crew. Like people would, passengers would look at you and think, where are they going mm. with their suitcases? And we'd be like, in the cargo. <laughs> That's where we're going. You know, and it was great. And back in those days, we were serving the hot dishes. We had the hot meals, the wow. bar cart. And that was even to Christchurch to Wellington. Those short flights, really? we were throwing them out while we were climbing, we were just like, here, would you like a wine? What have you got? We haven't got time to tell you. Red or white? What would you like? Montana Reserve. Let's go. Quickly, quickly. And then we'd give them the hot meals and then come back and bring plastic bags and throw them in the plastic bags because we just didn't have time. That's so awesome. it was busy, but it was a great experience. And now it's a cookie. Now it's just yeah. a cookie, water, and a hot drink. 